Hi folks, it's good to be with you. We've got one more uh, book recommendation. And uh, my name is Jason Burns and my website is jasonburnspreacher.com. jasonburnspreacher.com. You can get me on Facebook where you'll see lots of apologetic material. And you'll see me on, uh, sorry, on uh, Twitter you'll see lots of apologetic material. And on Facebook you'll see lots of testimonies and Bible teaching from other preachers. I'd like to recommend to you another book. And uh, it's a really excellent book for studying church history. So here it is. I'd like to recommend this book. Uh, the History of Christian Doctrines by Lewis Burkhoff. The History of Christian Doctrines by Lewis Burkhoff. The History of Christian Doctrines by Lewis Burkhoff. Um, <clears throat> the Evangelical Quarterly says this about this book. Before we do, it's published by The Banner Truth. So it's published by uh, The Banner Truth. There you can see The Banner of Truth. And uh, the Evangelical Quarterly says, The work is truly a great one, and it promises to retain for a long time its place among the most valuable books in theology. It is especially serviceable as a handbook on the special subject which dealt with as might be expected from a man holding so high a position in the theological world as to be in line with such princely theologians as Charles Hodge and Benjamin Warfield. The book is ably executed and forms a worthy companion to, tho to those by the same author which preceded it and to which reference has already been made. It makes a fitting comp completion of the set on dogmatics. The matter is so well arranged and marked that as a textbook and for convenience of reference by one ordinary reader, it is, it is ideal in construction. Attached to each section also is a number of questions as aids and further study. A list of books on each subject is also given. These add very considerably to the value of the volume. And so in here we have um, subject matter, the history of dogma, the task of history of dogma, the method and division of history of dogma, history of the history of dogma, the apostolic fathers and doctrinal view, preservation of the gospel, reform movements in the church, the apologist of, and the beginnings of the church theology, anti-Gnostic fathers, Alexandrian fathers, monarchism, the Trinity, Trinitarian controversy, Christological controversies, uh, graced controversies etc so it, it's a really good synopsis of uh, church history and its theological arguments and developments and teachings if you don't know church history you're going to be in a, in a weak position because many of the heresies that are pumping out today being pumped out today are really just old heresies. Like, for example, the Jehovah's Witnesses is just an old heresy called Iranianism. Um, so, if you know church history, it helps you to deal with um, modern heretical views and it, and it gives you a wider understanding of what's going on today if you understand uh, the past, uh, the Christian past. So, uh, the history of theology is really important especially if you're in Christian work, you need to have some kind of grasp of how uh, theology has developed and what the main debates were, etc. So this is a, a really good book. I recommend it. Uh, in conjunction with his systematic theology, uh, if you had the two, but this is a book worth its weight in gold and it's not a big book, but it, it, it gets all the main issues in church history in such a short space of a few pages. And then it gives you references to go and research. And so I recommend it. Um, it will help, help you. Uh, if you're a Christian, you can read this book with in a couple of days. If, if you're a pastor... Uh, preacher uh, it, it, it will inform you and, and just encourage you really so please get a hold of this book it will be a blessing to you so God bless you